uh, today we're going to be doing a review on my girlfriend's Christmas present, the early, early Christmas present, I guess you could say, um, of the M&P Shield. Okay, uh, I've taken everything out of the box. Uh, gun is empty. Nothing in the magazine well, nothing in the chamber. Um, the, uh, I got her the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield uh, in 9mm. Uh, it comes with a seven round magazine and then an eight round magazine with a pinky extension. Uh, it's uh, the standard for nowadays, standard uh, single stack uh, striker fired pistol. Uh, the barrel length, uh, Smith & Wesson says this is a 3.1 inch barrel. It has the uh, front sights a white dot, rear sights standard two dots, so you got the standard three dot sight. Um, overall length, 6.1 inches, so this is a really short pistol. Frame width is 0.95 inches, so this thing isn't even an inch thick on the frame. Uh, overall height is 4.6 inches. The total weight, I don't know if this is with or without the magazine, I'm reading this right off of uh, Smith & Wesson's website here, it says uh, 19 ounces flat. So. Compared to my Glock, this thing is a feather. Uh, obviously, it's a polymer, polymer-framed pistol. Uh, the barrel and slide finish, it says a black 68 HRC finish. I have no clue what that means. I'm assuming... It, she's carried it for a while, for like a week now, and uh, nothing seems to be wearing on it. Well, I take that back. Right on top of the slide, the finish seems to be wearing a little bit. I don't know if that's because of her, her body rubbing up against it or what, but the uh, the steel sights, that's, that's another thing I like about it, steel sights. Uh, that seems to be pretty good. Um, the trigger pull, let me make sure nothing in there. As you can see, nothing in there. Uh, trigger pull, it's got the... Uh, two-part trigger uh, where the bottom half actually moves unlike the Glock where it's got the little paddle uh, trigger pull right off Smith & Wesson website three and a, six and a half pounds not three and a half six and a half pounds uh, the total sight radius says is uh, 5.3 inches and you know the longer the sight radius the more accuracy you're gonna the more accurate you're gonna get um, We were looking at several, I call these micro 9mm. Uh, you've got the Smith & Wesson Shield, you've got the LC9, you've got the new Glock 43, uh, the car, what is it, PM9. Um, you've got the uh, Diamondback DB9, that's even smaller than, all, actually the Diamondback DB9 is the smallest 9mm that we looked at and uh, we looked at the Taurus 709 slim single stack they're all single stack nine millimeters um, one of the things she didn't like was a lot of them didn't have an external safety and we narrowed it down to the Smith & Wesson or the LC9 and what made her, made her choose the, L, the uh, Smith & Wesson was the LC9 had a magazine safety so when the magazine was in, you can fire the pistol. But on the LC9, if there is no magazine, you're automatically locked out and can't pull the trigger. Well, with the Smith & Wesson, as long as the safety's off, you can fire the trigger with or without the magazine in. So, in the worst case scenario, you know, she gets into a gunfight and drops the ma accidentally drops the magazine, she at least still has one round left in the chamber where she can get to cover and move. Do I think she's ever going to be in a gunfight? Absolutely not. Um, at least if I'm not there, at least if I'm there, she won't be because I am, I'm carrying the Glock 19. So if anyone's got rounds to put down range, I've got my 16 rounds to put down range. Um, when we picked the pistol up, we picked up a 50 round box of HPR 115 grain hollow points. Uh, I wanted to try these out. Uh, I know Such does 
He's sponsored by HPR. Um, I when I bought my Glock, I purchased a 50 round box of um, 124 grain spear gold dot hollow points. And uh, just this past week, we went out and bought are these 134 grain, I believe. Yeah, 134 or 135 grain. Hornady Critical Duty Flex Flex Lock Hollow Points. Um, we put the Flex Lock in her, in the shield, and uh, I began watching some videos on carry ammo and stuff. Because four years in the Marines as a small arms repair technician, I know that uh, some ammo isn't exactly optimized for smaller guns like this. So I looked up on YouTube and I sh looked at Shooting the Bull 410. He did a whole series on carry ammo for a micro 3-inch barrel 9mm. Um, just saw the holster that she wears, but uh, he went through and he actually shot Hornady Critical Duty under 35 grain ammo. And although it penetrated and expanded, it didn't expand all the way. It barely expanded. So I immediately told her, you want to know what? You're not carrying this ammo because I don't trust it. So we threw, so right now she's carrying 115 grain or HPR ammo. Um, shooting the bull did, I watched more Shooting the Bulls series on uh, the subcompact carry ammo, or the micro 9mm carry ammo. And, uh, and then I went over to Mr. Guns and Gear, his YouTube channel, and I came to the conclusion that the Federal HST, either 124 147 grain HST hollow points would probably be the best. Uh, they both shot them. I think Mr. Guns and Gear actually shot it out of the Smith & Wesson. M and P shield, um, while shooting the bull, he just shot it out of I believe it was a Sig, single stack nine millimeter with a three three point three inch barrel I believe I don't know I can't remember exact specs, but it was a Sig, I believe six, uh, single stack nine millimeter. Um, the holster that she carries it in is a Remora. It's not a Remora clone, I want to say, but it is from a website called acecase.com same concept as a Remora or a sticky holster just not their, their brand isn't out there as much uh, it is cheaper than both of those brands um, it says it's made for the Sigma Bursa and Car but obviously it fits the shield very nicely um, she really likes it she's not used to carrying a pistol so she goes man this thing's heavy and I'm like well try carrying my Glock 19 with a fully loaded magazine that thing's an extra pound or two feels like um, I'm always adjusting my pants doing the classical conceal carry lift and everything else but uh it's because my belt's a little too loose I need to get a higher quality belt um she absolutely loves the pistol there's uh, nothing wrong with it um, like I said, she's carrying the 115 grain HPR right now. Uh, I'm going to get her some HST here probably for Christmas. I'm carrying the Critical Duty in my Glock 19, um, because it's more optimized for my 4-inch barrel. Um, anyway, this is me showing you my girlfriend's, the new, the new, new pistol to the family, I guess you could say. Uh, I'm really liking it. Yeah, it's, we'll find out going to the range this weekend, so we'll find out how how, uh, how it performs. Uh, my girlfriend really didn't want a, a pistol that kicked much, and when she shot my Glock 19, she fell in love with it, so that's why we chose the 9, but um, I don't think she realizes that because it's a single stack and doesn't weigh a lot, that the kick will be a little bit more. I'm almost thinking it'll be up towards a 40 caliber kick. And uh, when she shot my Taurus 24-7 G2 subcompact 45, uh, she could barely handle the thing. And she was scared of it. So I'm hoping the shield doesn't kick as much. Uh, anyway, 
it's me signing off. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, I'm off school, so hopefully I'll be putting more videos out uh, in the coming couple weeks. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot.